Mr. Speaker. The Honourable Mr. Simon Speaker, Bridget. this weekend we are one year on from election 2014. Four days in it, King. Uh, we are one year on from the greatest National Party victory, perhaps, perhaps actually ever. And what's happened in a year? Well, let me tell you, as Bill English has said, we've got free doctor's visits for under 13, something Annette King and all her time in government over many years could achieve. We've got benefit increases, the biggest uh, in some 40 years. We've got the biggest and the best infrastructural investment plan this country has ever seen in my portfolios. Ten bridges, that's not the half of it, Annette King. Nine of them in Tauranga on the Tauranga Eastern Link, several of them in Huntley on the Huntley section being opened, in energy, 14,000 uh, homes being insulated, electricity renewables going through the roof. We have a record already one year in on this third term of achievement, of strength and stability. But it's also, Mr Speaker, a year of contrasts. A Prime Minister here on this side, seven years of stable, strong leadership. But what about the countries we compare ourselves? Well, in the US, of course, we've got a situation where through general dissatisfaction, the leadership contest for the presidency is absolutely wide open. In the United Kingdom, uh, Jeremy Corbyn come through, a guy voted against his party some five hundred times. Uh, senior colleagues won't uh, work with him. Uh, we've got an Australia. Yes, let's come to Australia. We've got a country that's changed their leader in that time almost as many times as Andrew Little's changed his position on the flag. Mr Speaker, probably not that many, but uh, uh, a, 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 a quite a number there. Four Prime Ministers, I think it is, in the time that John Keyes led New Zealand. But to be fair, there's not as many leaders as the Labour Party's had in that time. There's not as many leaders as the Labour Party. Well, well, see, Annette King, I wonder if she can actually name all those Labour Party leaders. Well, let me give her a clue. They're still, they're still in Parliament. They're actually still in Parliament. None of them have left. Uh, and they sit there um, like those old guys in the Muppets up the top of the corner uh, talking uh, on the weekend. So Labour is on to its fifth. Jacinda Ardern, I want to know, when will it be a sixth, actually? Uh, when will it be a sixth? Because actually, despite the revolts by uh, Jeremy Corbyn, despite the fact that he won't sing the... Uh, National Anthem. Actually, I've got to say, what is it about Labour opposition leaders in the National Anthem? But uh, despite those things, Jeremy Corbyn is still more popular than Andrew Little. So Jacinda Ardern, when will it be six leaders uh, under John Key's tenure for the Labour Party? And that's the other contrast between strong, stable leadership from government and an opposition in absolutely, uh, absolute disarray. Seven years to work out some policy in opposition. Seven years. And their policies are, wait for it, on their website, I think it's right, under review. Seven years and their policies are under review. It's actually a bit unkind to Grant Robertson, who on Q&A said they're discussing their economic plan. So it's good to know they're discussing it, because, Mr Speaker, uh, their plan... Well, well, no, because you do have... The member does have a policy. Basically, it's talking down the economy. So we, we think, actually, to be fair, that is a winning strategy for the National Party. That is a winning strategy by Labor, because every time they seem to call it a crisis, the problem starts getting better. We've seen it with manufacturing. Grant Robertson says a crisis. The numbers went up. Unemployment, the numbers went up. Actually, the latest ones in Derry were, I think, as soon as Grant Robertson started talking about it as a crisis, no sooner does he say it, but the GDT numbers start getting better. That's what I call the reverse Midas touch, uh, Mr Speaker. So the contrasts don't just stop there between strong, stable leadership on this side of the House and what's happening internationally, between strong, stable leadership for this country on this side of the House and the disarray and the opposition, actually just the disagreements and the contrast within the Labour Party. Grant Robertson wants deficits, Andrew Little not so much. Uh, Claire Curran's excited by Jeremy Corbyn. Uh, David Shearer, I know, not so much. Charter schools, da Calvin Davis loves them. Andrew Little, not so much. Regional skilled immigration, Stuart Nash loves it. Actually, Andrew Little, not so much. Farmers and health and safety, well, Andrew Little wants more of that. Damien O'Connor doesn't. So, Mr Speaker, I'm proud 
to be on the party that's providing strong, stable leadership, while everyone else uh, is contrasting with that. The good news is there's at least two more years to go to make this country better and better.